Good morning, Wildcat. It's Landon. Now it's time for the Wildcat News Show. Today is Monday, September 19th, 2022. The following Wildcat have birthday this week. We hope you all have a wonderful birthday. Good morning, this is Eva. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one white nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please. Pause for a moment of silence. Good morning. This is Ireland with the weather. It should be about 89 degrees today. It will be a little hot today. At recess, make it a great day, Wildcats. For lunch today, we will be having pizza, french fries, veggies, and dip fruit or fruit juice and your choice of milk. Have a great day. Good morning, Wildcats. This is Atlee. The book fair starts today. Here's a sample of some of the things that will be available for you to buy. Happy book shopping. If you want to know what true evil looks like, this is it. Sure, I might look like an ordinary chihuahua, but instead of treats and toys, I'd like to think about world domination and destroying my enemies. My minions think their crates can hold me, but nothing scares me. Not even the monsters known as trash cans. One thing's for sure, if I want to rule the world, I'll first need to rule the yard. It won't be easy, but with the right army at my side, it'll be worth it. To find out if Ember, the evil ruler, can take over the yard and then the world, look for Pets Rule My Kingdom of Darkness at your Scholastic Book Fair. Hi, I'm Melissa De La Cruz, and I'm the leftovers the children don't want. That. Hi, I'm Melissa De La Cruz, and I'm the author of Donya Esmeralda, Who Ate Everything. The story is about a little tiny Filipino lady who hides in the shadows and eats the leftovers the children don't want to eat. One day, she discovers that the children actually eat really yummy foods like chicken fingers and hamburgers and pizza. And she decides she's not going to settle for leftovers, so she starts eating everything. She took out her straw and just started to slurp. She slurped up the plates, the table, the chairs. She slurped up an elephant and a crocodile. She slurped up a carabao, a monkey-eating eagle, and a giant vegetarian bat. Go! Donya Esmeralda is based on a mythical creature called an aswang. And an aswang is like a vampire with a very long tongue. And the tongue kind of looks like a straw. So Donya Esmeralda is a, a little bit of a version of an aswang in the sense that she eats and sucks everything through a straw. I wrote this book because I love to eat. And when I was little, I hated certain food. I always wished that there was some character like Donya Esmeralda who would eat it for me so that my parents wouldn't discover that I didn't eat that food. 
Look for my book, Donya Esmeralda, Who Ate Everything, at your Scholastic Book Fair. Have a wonderful day, Wildcats, and remember to always show your paws, positive attitude, act respectfully, work responsibly, stay safe. Thank <laughs> you.